Hello everyone, Jessica here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I am going to make a watercolor card using very minimal supplies. Well, minimal supplies for me anyways. So what we have going on here is I have my clipboard and I'm taping down a piece of Arches cold press watercolor paper. I just thought I would use it. There's no really rhyme or reason for it. And I just used some of the masking tape that I've had. I know about the purple tape. I, I want to try it. I'm not sure about it yet, but I want to try it. But so far this masking tape works fine for me. And I'm using a paper tray ink dye to trace out the balloons. And this is just me being lazy. I could have just sketched out my own balloon design or whatever, but this was a lot easier, a lot faster. So I went this route. And to sketch it out, I'm actually using a watercolor pencil because I wanted to try kind of doing no line watercoloring. It didn't turn out quite like that, but that's what my first attempt was going to be. So I have the Kiritaki Gonze Tombi watercolors. I have the 36 pan set. And I'm just using my, I think they're called Niji, Niji water brushes. I'm using both of them because one was kind of low in water, so I was using one to wet down the paper and then one for the actual painting. I don't know why. You don't have to. You could use just one and wipe it off in between, but this is what I was doing. <laughs> and I have my a little palette of acrylic uh, plexiglass that my husband had cut. I have a bigger one. This is just a little one because I'm not using very many colors. I'm sticking with the primary colors as you can kind of see. And I'm layering the balloons so the red one's going to be in the very front and then the orange and the soon to be yellow one will be behind that one and the green will be behind the yellow one just to kind of give it a little dimension. I'm starting off adding the color around the edges and then blending it into the middle so that the lighter points are in the middle area as a highlight. This yellow is very very bright. I do tone it down a little bit uh, later on. So I'm thinking that these balloons aren't completely opaque. They're a little bit transparent. So you can see with the yellow one that some of that green, I'm adding green to it because I can still see the line of the balloon that sits behind it. So I'm adding just a little bit of green to the yellow balloon as a layer and a little bit of yellow to the red balloon and so on and so forth. And then I'm just adding in a little bit more darker edges and to the bottom part of the balloon. I let it dry for a little bit and then I go back in, add in more color just to deepen it up. Just more layers, adding in the shadow and the highlights. Balloons are kind of easy to shade, I think. And then I add in a little shading around where they overlap. Just make that a little bit darker. I really wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, but in the end I did end up liking it. That's kind of my thing. I don't really have a set plan. I just kind of go for it. Sometimes I do have a set plan and I actually sketch out like a, a card sketch and everything, but most of the time I don't really know what I'm going to end up with. I kind of pick out my tools first and decide today I want a watercolor or today I want to use my coffee markers or you know whatever it is and then I just kind of go from there. 
the challenges help me a lot. I do um, a lot of challenges. Well, there's like three or four that I participate in normally on a, on a weekly basis. Oh, the next day. <laughs> I let it drive and I, I wasn't sure if I was really going to stick with this. But I did. So the next day, let it dry. Look at that daylight. I need to film more during the day. I, I am such a night owl, though. I like to film at night. Well, I don't think I really like to film at night. Film at night. That just that's when it happens. I need to film more during the day. Make a point of that. Or at least when it's sunny out. So I wasn't really liking how it was looking. I wanted more. The no line watercoloring wasn't working for me. <laughs> That's for sure. So I just, I added in some uh, black lines with the micron pen. And I didn't want my balloons just kind of floating there. So I'm adding in some strings with a just a 4H pencil and I'm making the string have a little bow that it's tied off on and then I go back through and I trace over that with the micron pen and the size I'm using is a 0 0.05 yeah 0 0.05 I do go back through and I thicken some lines and just kind of even out the tracing a little more on the balloons and the strings and the bows. I like just kind of doodling. That's what I call it, just doodling. I'm going to darken up this just a little bit and um, add in some more of the shadow. So I use the same colors. I left everything out of my desk, so I'm just re-wetting the same colors that I used the night before. I almost forgot to erase my pencil lines. <laughs> I was going to paint right over that, and then you can't erase it. So luckily I caught myself and I erased those away. There wasn't very many. And just doing the same thing as I did uh, previously with adding a lot of the deeper color towards the outside edges and then fading it into the center of the balloon. And then adding more to the little tie-off area because that part of the balloon would be the most concentrated of color. And then the rest of it will be thinner. After that, I start on the background. I didn't want to leave it just white. Sorry, this is so cut off. I do notice it later on. I, I need to get better at that. Figuring out where my camera is actually focused on and working in just that area. But I'm getting there. <laughs> so I'm just using a nice brightish blue for the background and just doing a quick wash of it and then I'm going to go back through and add in some uh, details. I didn't want it just to be one wash of a blue color so I was thinking of adding more darker concentrated color around the actual uh, where the balloons are. Kind of like how camouflage it. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't really going to outline the balloons but I wanted to add in some deeper color there. So I was kind of doing like a camouflage kind of pattern, I guess. I really like working with Arches paper. It just, it soaks up that paint so well and it's so easy to move the paint across the paper and it's really nice. It's so expensive though, so I don't use it a whole lot. I took some of the white 
paint that comes in this set, the Kiritaki Gonsetambi set. And uh, it's not extremely opaque. If you keep it pretty thick by adding in a highlight for the balloon, just that little kind of a half moon shape. I do one layer of wall four and then go back through and do another layer of it and that kind of helps uh, brighten it up so you can see it a little more make it more opaque and it, this paint actually easily lifts off so I just have a paper towel that I can use to kind of fix any mistakes or lighten a area I think I added probably three or four layers to it in the end of the white just to get it bright enough because it really it just it would soak in and it, when it dries it dries a lot lighter. So now I have a jelly roll pen just a black jelly roll pen and I'm adding that to the strings of the balloons with the bows. I wanted that area to kind of stand out a little bit more so when you tilt the paper it'll add a little bit of a glossy and this is the best part the reveal take it off that masking tape now this kind of hurt I, I didn't want to cut it at all but it was just too big because I didn't have a plan in the beginning so I didn't know exactly what I was going to do and what size I needed cut it down to fit onto an A2 size card I think it's actually a four four inch by five and a quarter so that it layers on there and then I have a Tim Holtz die it's the handwritten celebrate and I I'm just using the fun foam and I'm using multimedia matte glue to adhere that down onto the red balloon. I'm going to put that kind of in the middle there. The link for my blog is in the description below where I have listed everything I've used. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Meh, meh.